Deep in the heart of the Caribbean lies an island that harbors the secret mansion of none other than Pablo Escobar. Far beyond all the tourists and sandy beaches, this idyllic getaway paradise is completely cut off from the rest of the world, and only around 800 farmers and fishermen currently inhabit it. It was the perfect spot for a perfectly secret chateau, and like its infamous owner, it too has fallen from grace. Today, this massive manor is completely abandoned, left to the elements to decay and fall apart. We've got the story on this pricey palace and its unfortunate fate. Pablo Escobar was a force to be reckoned with in the 1980s and 90s. He was the man who got what he wanted, when he wanted, and from who he wanted. Early in his life, he was infamous in his town for illegal activities, including theft, but that was just the beginning. His life of crime never slowed down or faltered in any way and made his way to the head of the infamous Medellin cartel, and at one point was smuggling over 15 tons of illegal substances into the United States every day. Estimates put his net worth in 1989 at an astonishing $30 billion. This qualified Mr. Escobar as one of the world's richest men at the time, and he certainly lived like it. He was the owner of 15 private jets, six helicopters, and more expensive cars than you could count. In fact, his brother Roberto Escobar has gone on record stating that at one point his brother was spending over $1,000 a month just on the rubber bands that held their money together. What? They had so much money that they were forced to bury it, where it would become the favorite snack of any rats in the area. At one point, this was such a problem that they started writing off 10% of their annual earnings in the money books, knowing full well that this money was ending up in the stomachs of rats. Who's hungry? And based on their income, that equates to $2.1 billion a year as rat food. Yeah. Pablo Escobar was rich, really, really rich, and we haven't even gotten started on his luxury homes. While Escobar was well known for having properties in Miami, which recently sold for just over $10 million, he was also the proud owner of Hacienda Napoles, a 7.7 square mile estate built in Puerto Triunfo, a little town just 93 miles east of Medellin, Colombia. This estate is arguably his most famous chateau, as it's gone through quite the renovations over the years. In its prime, it had its very own zoo, complete with giraffes, rhinoceros, elephants, and even a dinosaur exhibit that housed real dinosaur fossils. Today, tourists can visit and explore his estate in style, as it was transformed into a family-friendly theme park. When valued in 2006, it came to $5.5 billion. But in today's video, we want to talk about a lesser known, but by no means less expensive estate. It's legendary for the lavish and wild parties that were once held there, and for serving as Mr. Escobar's summer home. And today, Day, it acts as sort of a relic to Escobar himself, eerily paralleling his exuberant spending and his sudden downfall. This secret getaway house is completely abandoned, housing only wild plants and animals that currently dwell within, and sometimes on, its white stone walls. Locally, Escobar's majestic manor is known as La Casa Grande, which literally translates to the big house. And we gotta say, the locals weren't wrong in that assessment, not by a long shot. La Casa Grande is found deep within the forests of the Caribbean, on a seemingly innocuous island known as La Isla Grande. This island paradise is only a few kilometers long, and the only way you're getting here is by special boat from Cartagena. But good luck getting someone to drive you there. After you arrive on the island, your best bet is to ask around for directions to La Casa Grande. You won't find directions on the internet, and you won't find signs pointing it out. Your only clue will be the trek through the thick forests. And after a few hours hike, you'll find this legendary abode. And once the trees start to clear, you'll come across an old pathway that leads to the spectacular white walls of La Casa Grande. Or at least, what's left of them. See? La Casa Grande hasn't gotten the same treatment that Escobar's other estate, Hacienda Nopales, has received. You'll find no theme park here, no family-friendly zoo, and you likely won't see anyone in sight. This is because after Escobar's death, the Colombian government took control of his properties, and they have neglected La Casa Grande for years. As you walk around La Casa Grande, you'll see an overrun swimming pool with broken down chalets that at one point confidently overlooked the ocean, but now are only a shadow of their former glory. This is exactly where visiting speedboats would have docked, but you won't see a working speedboat in sight. The closest thing you'll find to that is one of Escobar's luxury speedboats, which in 1989 would have cost $187,000. Continue on through the property, and you'll see the plants that overrun almost every inch of the manor, be it outdoor or indoor. Stroll through the once majestic gardens, and you'll likely spot wild pigs munching on vegetation, enjoying their midday lunch. 
a tragic fate to such a beautiful home that in its prime would have easily rivaled the cost of Escobar's other incredible mansion, Hacienda Nepales. That means it could have been valued at five billion dollars. In a way, it's sort of a shame that such an architectural wonder has been left to ruins. Remember, this was supposed to be a party house, the summer getaway for the leader of the Medellin cartel, the ideal spot for one of the richest men in the 1990s to relax and spend a little me time. At its height, there were over 300 fully furnished and eloquently designed rooms for guests to come and visit. And party. No expense was spared when it came to Mr. Escobar's guest rooms, and that includes the solid gold shower heads in each of the bathrooms, likely valued at $1,400 a pop. But that's chump change when you're worth $30 billion. Back in the day, getting to La Casa Grande would likely mean you took a luxury speedboat, or maybe you flew in by helicopter. The pad is still there to this day, only it's nowhere near regulations if you think you can just fly over and land there now. Escobar was also known for having countless bodyguards on the site, who were trained to shoot on site if anyone stepped foot on the property that wasn't invited. One of his more ruthless bodyguards was Mr. John Harrow Valasquez, also known by his nickname Popeye. But today, you'll find no such guards protecting the home. In fact, the island has pretty much kept to itself over the years, and its roughly 800 inhabitants have continued to live their lives out as farmers and fishermen, paying little attention to the behemoth manor that once housed some of the rowdiest parties on the planet. But we say, maybe it's better off this way. Escobar was a criminal. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Yes, he was known for giving away some of his fortune to the poor and needy, earning him the reputation of sort of a modern-day Robin Hood, but good deeds like that don't excuse him from the life of breaking the law. Escobar met his end on December 2, 1993 leaving behind his massive homes and, believe it or not, the majority of his massive fortune as well. Much of it is still buried in the ground to this day. It's reported that millions upon millions of dollars are still out there just waiting to be found. Pablo Escobar was many things during his tenure as the leader of the Medellin cartel. Some call him a villain, a drug lord, a smuggler, a ruthless criminal, and yet some also hail him as some sort of a modern-day Robin Hood. Whatever you think of the man, he certainly lived his life to the fullest, and his secret mansion that sits hidden away in the lush forest of La Isla Grande is a testament to that. But like Escobar himself, this mansion fell from grace. These days, if you're brave enough and don't mind a little island adventure hiking, you can visit it yourself. It won't be easy, and it'll certainly be nowhere near its splendor of the days of old. But you'll be standing right where Escobar himself used to party and relax. If you go, be sure to imagine what it would be like to be one of the richest. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a like. It helps us out here so much, and it allows us to continue to make all the content you crave involving the wealthy and well-off. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel as we near 14.7 million subscribers. We'll see you next time, right here on The Richest.